Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to recover data from an old corrupted hard drive like this one here. Um, this one is a 60 gigabyte hard drive that I have on this enclosure um, that allows me to plug it in to a computer with USB. Um, and yeah, the first step is to connect it to your computer. You can use SATA, USB, whatever you have. Um, the next step is to go on the computer and install some software. Right, so once you've plugged in your drive, you want to go to, um, you want to search for test disk, and then you should just be able to click on download here if you're using Google, and this will just bring you to this website, and you'll just want to click on a uh, free download for Windows. Um, if you're using Linux, you can also type in sudo apt install test disk, and then I think you might also have to install some other commands, or your you can actually just click on um, the install uh, right here if you are on Linux. And then same thing, I don't know about Mac, um, I haven't tried it on Mac. Um, but Linux and Windows are pretty easy, so just download it. If you're on Windows, it'll come as a zipped uh, folder, um, so you can just find it. I've already downloaded it, um, and I put it in my downloads folder. Uh, test disk, now you'll need to extract it because it's in a compressed zip folder, and then you'll put it uh, you can double click here, double click again, and then you can double click on test disk underscore win. That is the actual program. Click yes. And then here, it'll give you some options. And we want to make sure that we're highlighted on create to create a new log file. And click enter. Now select your hard drive. Mine is this 60 gigabyte OCZ blah blah blah. Um, so I'll click enter. Make sure I've highlighted that. And then it recognizes that it's an Intel partition table so I'll click enter um, if you know it's not whatever it's highlighted it'll highlight automatically it's highlighted Intel for me if you know it's not Intel or whatever it's highlighted you can um, select what you want but mine's Intel and then we want to click on advanced or highlight advanced and then click enter um, and then here we actually have our drive so you want to make sure you highlight list by clicking the right arrow key and click enter. And then here is all of our files. Um, the file I need to retrieve is in um, home, Pika cubed, and it should be in my desktop, so right here. Um, and by the way, on the right side over here, you can see all of the file names. Um, my file is Logisim, and I want to copy everything in Logisim, so what I can do is click on C while I'm highlighted over Logisim and then now it will show all the uh, files on the my my computer that I'm working with right now so the what I need it's in the folder that we are in here uh, this this downloads um, the test disk folder so what I need to do is click the back arrow or the left arrow or left arrow key a few times and now I'm I need to click on C drive, and then I need to click on, or select users, and then my user, which is PK cubed, and then I'll just put it on my desktop. So desktop, and then we can just click C again to paste it there, and it says copy done, seven OK, zero failed, awesome. So we have just taken PK cubed or taken Logisim from this hard drive and put it on my desktop. Um, and yeah, we can do pretty much anything we want with this software. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you didn't, uh, you can dislike. But if you did, make sure to like. Please subscribe. It helps me out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.